We just got back from a four night stay at Walt Disney World's Port Orleans Riverside. And in this video, we're gonna break down what we did each day in the park and at the resort. Basically a trip recap. Basically a trip recap, that is true. So typically when we go to Disney World, we drive because it's about a 10 hour drive, 10 to 12 hours, depending on how many stops we take. Um, and we usually drive overnight. So this trip was no different. When we arrived at Disney, uh, it was super early in the morning. Very early. It was at actually about five o'clock in the morning. It may have been just at five o'clock. We checked in with the guy at the gate and he let us in because we were checking in that day. We were a little early and I'm sure he thought we were crazy. Um, sometimes you can check in super early. Sometimes you can't. Check-ins not until I think four. Or three yeah but we always put that we are going to arrive extremely early, early. Yeah. and the last few times that we've went just about as soon as we go through mm -hmm. the guard shack we get notified that our rooms ready yeah which was the case in this one as well yeah so that's really nice uh, you, can't, you can't always expect it but it's a low it was a low time of the year um, and we were just really excited that we were able to get uh, into our room really early but we couldn't go straight to our room because we had our dog. So if you haven't watched that video, it'll explain all of the details of bringing our dog to this resort specifically. And I'll have it linked right here. So we had to go check in the lobby because of him. Uh, but we were in our room with all of our stuff by like 530 in the morning, which was really nice. So because we drove overnight, we took a little nap or I think we showered and then took a little nap. And then we got ready for the day. Um, so we took Remy on a really nice walk. Yeah, we got him, <laughs> we got him used to the resort because this was his mm -hmm. first time ever staying in a real hotel room. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so we got him accustomed to that and walked him really long and got him worn out before we went to, I think it was Epcot. Yes, so we went to Epcot the first day because it was the very last day of Flower and Garden. And it is my favorite festival, so I definitely wanted to hit up a couple of the food booths. So that's what we did. Mm -hmm. We spent the afternoon at Epcot doing um, some of the attractions and uh, eating some food. And we I think we got some drinks as well. So yep. that was really fun. And then we headed on home. We probably stayed in Epcot a couple hours longer just because we had a Guardians boarding group. Yes. <laughs> but we was there for like seven hours and we were exhausted. So we basically went straight back to the hotel and um, when you have a dog, you basically have to do the parks as much as you want, but you also are going to be doing all of the things like walking your dog multiple times a day. So that's kind of what we had to do in the mornings, middle of the day and at night. So that's what we did when we got back to the resort. We walked with me around the resort and it was a really good way to be able to experience the resort the nighttime part of the resort. Yeah. We saw horses um, and just just like all the liveliness of the nighttime. I think this resort was really good about that. Uh, it brings out a lot of people. Old Man Island, the the all the kids out there, they they were there until like 11 o'clock at night. So it was pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, you could hear the kids screaming and stuff. So that was really cool. Right, and we had stayed at um Port Orleans French Quarter mm -hmm. years ago, but we never walked over to the Riverside part, so it was all brand new to us. So, yeah, yeah being able to take Remy out for really long extended walks throughout the day kind of got us used to uh, the resort and really just got time to enjoy it. Yeah, it was really nice. The next morning, we went to Epcot bright and early. We rope dropped Soren, um, and the reason that we rope dropped Soren, which we haven't rope dropped Soren in so long, <laughs> is because we had breakfast reservations at the Garden Grill. Yeah, that was a first for us yeah. as well. So, and Wade had been really wanting to go to this restaurant for years, and we just never really made time for it. And this trip was kind of based off of that. So the last couple of trips, we've been trying to do new things. Mm -hmm. If it's just one new restaurant or just something like that, we've been trying to incorporate that because we tend to do the same things over and over again. So we've been trying to do better. <laughs> so we were able to enjoy this restaurant and 
our waiter Gary. He was really cool. Oh, he, was he was really fantastic. fun. Um, he gave us some knowledge throughout our dining experience, and he of course joked about the camera, and it was just really fun. But also the ambiance of that restaurant, it was so nice. And mm -hmm. my favorite part really was the living with the land section where you could hear the ride, yeah. the rainforest and stuff of that part. Um, maybe not the dog barking over and over again, <laughs> but it was really cool to see it from that view. It is because yeah. living with the land is probably one of my favorite rides. <laughs> Very underrated. Um, it is no thrill ride by all means, but, no, but... Um, that's, that scene during the ride i love so being able to see it yeah. from a bird's eye view also the food cool. was really good and the, the food characters was great. were great and we were getting um some postcards for some friends signed and we got a bunch of signatures from those characters that day so that mm -hmm. was really cool and um basically when we were done we actually went over to see bell because we wanted to get a postcard sign so he popped over into france literally met bell like got in line and had wait no time. Bill was walking up as we were basically Yeah, waiting. we were just a couple people deep and then was, she walked right up. It was so magical. So breakfast was basically all we wanted to do, a couple of rides and stuff. And then after we met Bell, we walked back to the front, hit up the monorail because we wanted to get Remy some personalized Mickey ears. So of course we needed to go to the Magic Kingdom and get those. So when we popped into the Magic Kingdom, we could hear the parades. It was starting. Starting, basically. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, we ran in, basically got Remy's ears set up to like order them. So we picked them out, asked them to embroider them, and then we went out and watched Festival Fantasy Parade um, right in front of the train station. We've never actually sat and watched Festival of Fantasy. We're usually getting lunch and we're sitting in the hub or something mm -hmm. from a distance, walking through. We know all the music because we listen to it at home all the time, but we've never actually sat and watched the whole entire parade. So that was a really fun experience. And before the parade even started, our notification for the ears was... They were done. Yeah, it took yeah. 10 minutes, I think, for them to do that. We, yeah, it wasn't busy in there. Um, <laughs> so don't really expect cool. it to be that fast every time. No. Um, but I think we were the only one that was really interested in doing something at that time. So. Yeah. So it was a really cool experience. So we basically popped in and popped right out of the Magic Kingdom um, and went back to our resort. So we could hang out with Remy and just relax for a little while. The whole day so far, you had thought <laughs> was going our way perfectly. And it really was. Um, we walked right up when Belle came out. We walked right in to get the uh, Mickey ears for Remy and got it done quickly walked right up and the parade was going mm -hmm. but on the way samantha lost a brand new pair of mickey ears yeah left like, it on the monorail and did not realize it until i think we got back to the resort i did not realize that i'd lost those ears until we were heading back out to go for the rest of the day um yeah. so we were getting ready to go to hollywood studios um so that was quite disappointing because they were brand I new. I've been eyeing these ears, and I just, I'm not a big merchandise person. Um, we go to Disney often, but it, I just can't justify buying $35 ears to wear. I don't wear my ears every trip, I don't wear them often. So I just, it took me a long time to buy those ears. And in January, I bought them, I think I wore them one day, maybe two. Yeah. And then I wore them for half of this day and I yeah. left them on the monorail. Because I did. I knew I was going to have them on for the entire day. And I took them off while we was on the monorail just to give my head a little breather. I yeah. forgot. Yeah. So the only way we could figure out where I left them and how I left them was to go back on our footage. And yeah. we realized very quickly that that's where I left them. So... It's quite sad. So I put them, I, I remember exactly, I put them right here next to my side, mm -hmm. um, which were you were on this side, and then we exited the other way. So. Yeah. We thought about so contacting Lost and Found, but I mean, it's Mickey ears. The yeah. likelihood that somebody turned those in was slim, and we just I didn't mean, want to waste our time. Honestly, so. we could have, but we were just, we just never mm -hmm. got around to it. I mean, it was pretty easy probably if somebody found them and turned them in because I knew exactly what time from the footage and where which we monorail. were, which monorail, like all of that information. And if we would have tried, we probably had a good chance of finding them, but 
we just didn't. So yeah. it was kind of disappointing. But um, yeah, we spent the afternoon in Hollywood Studios. So um, we only had a couple of things that we wanted to accomplish for Hollywood Studios this night. Right. Yeah. So well, there was one, one huge one thing. One huge thing that we based the night around. Yeah. So um, it was fantastic because fantastic. We haven't done it in years. A really long um, like time. Like five years. And they actually had redone some stuff um, since the pandemic. Um, so, yeah, we hadn't done that. So, we really wanted to do Fantasmic. And then we thought food and maybe a couple of attractions. Mm -hmm. So, the only attraction that we weren't able to get done that night was Slinky Dog. I really wanted to do Slinky Dog, but I kind of knew it was a hit or a miss because... Yeah, it, was, it, was it just stayed intense. long. Like, yeah, I mean, who wants to wait an hour and a half in the sun for Slinky Dog? So, but we did do uh, Hollywood Tower of Terror. Yes, we did do Mickey and Minnie's. Yes, and um, we had Backlot Express again because yeah, the food option in Hollywood is well. It's not that the food options aren't great. I love. I didn't a say lot. great. Oh, okay, sorry. There's just not a lot of them to choose from. There isn't, and we always eat something really good at like we, yeah, we always like are happy with backlot express um and when the at the time that i got really hungry my head started hurting i got like i get really sick if i don't eat properly and um since we had such a large breakfast that morning we didn't really eat anything since then and it hit like pretty quickly that i was like i need some food and backlot express Mobile ordered it and knew exactly what we wanted, so we got it. It was quick, it was easy, and we were satisfied. Yep. So, um, yeah, then we basically just moseyed around the park and enjoyed the nighttime, like the... The good feels. Golden hour, and yeah. then, the, like, the lights popping on. It was really... Like, Hollywood Studios is just a nice vibe. So, we did that, and then we went into Fantasmic. And if there's one thing that I will say... Yeah. Is, which you know what I'm about to say... There's a lot I could say, <laughs> but let's see what your one thing is. So, it since it's been so long since we did Fantasmic, we realized we messed up when we got into Fantasmic. Not that, like, if anywhere you sit, I think, is a great spot. I think so, too. We went in 30 minutes before it started. Yeah. Or, if not 45 minutes before it started. Way too quick. We should have waited until... Closer to About the showing time. 10 minutes max before the show time because we walked in a good time in advance. Well, the stadium was basically full in the middle, which if you do like a dining package and stuff, you get that nice seating. So we got escorted all the way to the left side, which yeah. is awful when you're trying to get out. And um, the last time we had done this, I guess... Either it hadn't been so crowded the last time we did it, I don't or think so. we we were sat basically on the complete opposite end, so we were able to just pop out and leave pretty quickly, and it was kind of crazy when we left. Yeah, the last time that we wrote it, they may have been doing multiple shows because I know it wasn't even full when yeah. we went. So yeah, well they did. Did they do multiple shows this night? Uh, I I don't I, I don't, don't think, think they so. did. So some nights they do two shows, some nights they do three shows, I think, but this night they were only doing one. So it was... The, the best we can remember. Yeah, the best that we can remember. Mm -hmm. um, but we we definitely did it a little wrong, and we would definitely tweet that next time. Right. But for overall, we, we enjoyed oh, it was, ourselves. It was great. It was absolutely yeah, it was fantastic. Great. Except for I wish the... we would have got a drink before we went. Oh, yeah, this. yeah. <laughs> the, the only thing which is not, it's a people pet peeve of mine People is if you want to film on your phone please make sure that your lights turned off because it was almost like there was just a flashlight right behind our head and it yeah. was pretty bright yeah that was weird so, um, no, that was very strange it was very strange i think that person just didn't know how to work their phone but it was Anyways. a really cool show it's such oh, yeah. a great i show. loved it um, always recommend it, but I would either recommend getting, like, a, if doing the dining, pa it's not a dining package, but if you, like, book your dining, you get, like, a, in certain places that day, you get reserved seating, so 
I don't know how it is when you're leaving or when you're entering, but you have really good seating. That doesn't really bother me. I don't want to sit front row because I don't want to get wet, but I would rather be able to exit pretty quickly. So I wish we would have just walked in a little bit later. Um, but that's the only thing I had to say about that. And then when we, by the time we left the park, we just, we, we left. Um, yeah, we were exhausted. ready to go home. We were, yeah. We, we do the parks, like we think we're doing the parks chill, but we're, we still get exhausted. I don't know if it's age. <laughs> Probably so. But we got back and walked Remy again. Yes. So we, of course, walked Remy and went to sleep pretty quickly. Um, and then the next day, we actually had a full day to enjoy our resort because we did a full resort day. And this day, we slept in like to 7, 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we slept in yeah. late. Well, yes, that's late for us. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially at Disney World. Like, who's going to waste our time going yeah. to sleep? Um, and what did we do this morning? We did a lot. Um, <laughs> and, and actually... Having a resort day, a dedicated resort day, is something that we've started doing. Um, Except for this next trip, we don't have a dedicated um, resort day. <laughs> well, that's because it's a short trip. But um, no, it's not. It's actually a it's longer, longer trip. than this. But way. anyways, <laughs> we have started implementing resort day um, just to have, just to be able to do some things, relax. Um, yeah. One, we've got our dog with us. This, that was his second trip. Yeah. Um, so we were able to. Um, Enjoy some Enjoy amenities. some stuff. Yeah. And our, our plan was to go walk over to French Quarter and get some beignets for breakfast that morning. Yes. But we kind of got a late start to it um, because we were also doing some filming. And then a friend of ours decided um, that they wanted to come see us with her new child, her new girl. Her baby. Yeah, her baby. <laughs> um, so she met us there for around, I guess, around brunchish time. Yeah, so by the time that we, like, we were filming a resort tour this day, also hanging out and enjoying and mm -hmm. filming just our resort day. So we kind of got caught up with filming and just enjoying the resort, taking Remy on WALKs, and um, just, just that stuff that we didn't realize that we missed breakfast. Yeah. And then by the time that our friend had notified us, and said that she was coming. It was kind of getting closer to lunch, but it was kind of like a brunch time. Yeah. To where the Riverside Mill was serving breakfast and lunch. So yeah. I got lunch. I got we breakfast. We got breakfast. Our friend Amanda, she got breakfast. Um, and so we sat there for a couple of hours and chit chatted. Because we sat there for quite a while and talked. I think we were there for two hours because mm -hmm. when you meet friends um, that you don't ever get to see, you just hang out and just talk. So that's what we did. We really enjoyed the food court that day. Um, the Riverside Mill is so big. It's got like light coming in. It's so pretty, and I really, I really enjoyed our time in there. I did so too. It was really cool. There's a lot of lot of options of uh, food and snacks to get in there. Yeah. So I really enjoyed it. But so basically, the rest of our afternoon, we were able to enjoy uh, some drinks. Yeah, some drinks. We went and swam. Yeah, and we they, there's a lot of pools there. Yeah, so there's six pools at this resort. Yeah. And we wanted to, um, because we went to the Muddy Rivers Bar and got drinks, we wanted to go and hang out by the main pool on Old Man Island because it's a lot of stuff going on, activities, just just fun. It's bobbing. Um, it's bobbing, yes. Um, there's a hot t there's a hot tub, there's a kitty area, there's a, a slide, and then just the pool, and then just tons of seating. And it was kind of packed, oh, a lot of packed. stuff going on. And then all the chairs, like if we wanted to lay out um, and just hang out with our drinks, the chairs were kind of taken. So make sure you go there early in the morning if you want a, a seat. Yeah. So um, just go put, put your towel on there and you're good. But we didn't do that. So we kind of just drank our drinks and hung out and enjoyed that from a distance at um, a table over on the Muddy Rivers Bar deck. Yeah, so basically I talked Wade into um, going to a quiet pool with me. He said we would, if we go to a quiet pool that he would get in the pool with me. So we moseyed over there. We saw a big giant snake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big black uh, giant snake. And this was the second snake we saw at this resort yeah. this trip, which was kind of crazy. Um, so we did right. that. We hung out at the pool, drank our little drinks. Um we enjoyed the marshmallow campfire. Yes. Yeah, so... A little 
Well, we, that wasn't the s'mores. It was just roasted marshmallows. I keep trying to say s'mores yeah. every time I talk about that, but uh, it's just roasted marshmallows. Yeah. So Disney, at almost I, I'm pretty sure at every one of the Disney resorts, you can do like a campfire. It's like six to seven every night. It might be a different time, but it's for like an hour every night. And every resort, I think, has one. And um, weather permitting, they do this, and it's free to the guests. So they'll give you a stick. They'll give you a bag of marshmallows. It had six in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Wade wasn't interested, but I was. And they just asked for you not to catch your marshmallows on fire. And if they do, blow them out immediately. Um, there's cast members there talking, uh, explains the rules, just having a good time. They'll chit chat with you. So we, we just had a little fun moment there. We've never done that yeah, before. Spent about Disney 30 before. minutes there. We spent like 30 minutes. Um, yeah, it was super fun. It was super cool. And I know the kids will love it. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. So, but I loved it as well. <laughs> right. And once we finished up there, we took the opportunity to bring Remy back out for another walk. Yeah. As well as get some photos of him in his oh, embroidered geez. Mickey, classic Mickey hat, yeah. ears, whatever that's called. So, by golden hour, we wanted to get yeah. some pictures and yeah. we basically stopped traffic. Yeah, Remy was the showstopper. Yeah. Everybody, so. we, were, we were very close to the lobby and the um, quick service eating area and people had come out from the restaurant to talk to us and take pictures and pet him and people would stop as they walked by yeah. and want to have a conversation with us about their pet and things but, like that. And so. also, I don't think people wanted to ruin because we had like our cameras and our phones and stuff and like everything trying to situate him and it was just a lot and i think everybody was just like kind of stopped and you could hear people talking yeah. but i wasn't looking and i could see people around us but everybody was just kind of like stopped and they were just watching it was really cute and yeah. maybe by the time he he would he had fun but like by the time he was by the end of it he was like all right i'm done with this hat yeah. Um, except when this one girl came up and she was like, can you put that hat on him? And he like <laughs> ran over there. Normally if he'll let you put a hat on and he'll stand there for a second and then he's done with it. He kept it on and he was like, hey, like letting them pet him and everything. He had it on the whole time. Yeah. Yep. It was really cute. It was really fun. He loves interactions like that. So it was just really fun. To, yeah. He definitely yeah. loves people. And, and this was a great resort for him I, to interact with people. Yes. Because he was able to see... So many cast members, cast members loved him on this trip. It was so crazy. And then just other guests, um, they either were like, we miss our dog because we had to leave him at home. Or they had a golden retriever. Or just, you know, just everybody had a story. And mm -hmm. it was just really fun. So that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, the only thing we, we didn't get to do at this point that we had hoped to be able to do was take the boat ride, the boat taxi, into Disney Springs. Yes. The water level was too low, so they were not offering that shuttle. Because um, that's what we originally had planned yeah. for this night. We was going to go to Disney Springs but, because of the um, taxi. And we didn't want to drive, and we did not want to take the bus. Yeah. However, while Samantha was roasting marshmallows, a cast member did tell me that even if we had went over there, we would have had to come back rather early on the boat because the drone show was operating mm -hmm. and they were shutting down the, the uh, water taxi service very early for that drone show. So, Which is one of the reasons why we wanted to go to Disney Springs mm -hmm. specifically on this trip because of the water taxi and because of the summer drone show that they had going on because it looked really yeah. cool. And spoiler so. alert, we didn't do either. We didn't do either so. on this trip, so that's really sad. Hopefully they offer something like this in the future because we missed it completely. Yeah. Sad, but we did really enjoy our night. We got some oh, yeah. food at the Riverside Mill um, for dinner. So we basically ate br uh, brunch, lunch. Brunch, yeah, brunch. We had snacks earlier in the day here, mm -hmm. um, and then we got dinner here as well. So um, it, it just was a great food court. We got chicken nuggets, oh, the staple go, of a you, Disney you trip. You can't go yeah. wrong with those chicken strips but and stuff. But I got, what did I get? It was um, like a roast, like a pot roast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mashed potatoes and green beans. It Some was great. Food. It was so big and like it was heavy. The lady had to double plate <laughs> my plate because it was a lot. It was really cool, but it was delicious. Um, yeah, so overall, um, 
I was about to say that the day was over, but I forgot. We Remy went. got invited to the um, movie Under the Stars, so mm -hmm. we had to make an appearance, and they were playing Tiana's for the yeah. night, so that uh, was we, really cool. Yeah, I think we stayed there for about 15 minutes. Yeah, um, we got then to he started getting, there for a little bit. He started getting playful, and there's Remy right there. Yeah. He, he doesn't bark. <laughs> um, very rarely does he yeah. ever bark. Um, but he got really playful and let out a bark, and we yeah, were like, "Just one, just yeah. one." But it was we were like, like no. "Okay, well, it's time to go." Yeah, we, we were tired. Were any, we were kind of far away from everybody, but we were still able to hear the the movie and, and um, the grass where they play the movie in the middle of this um, like courtyard area. Yeah, it it was uh, like the fake grass, like the hub grass in Magic Kingdom. So it was really cool. So you don't have to. Ha there was people that had blankets and like other things, and they were just hanging out on, but. You don't have to and they were yeah. actually doing tie-dyed shirts oh, yeah, they were. um on the other side of the group that was in front of us so like they had the movie and then the cast members in the front was doing tie-dyed shirts with some kids so that was really cool um we didn't participate in that but mm -hmm. we did um so after that we were tired for yeah. the night and got ready for the next day we did and the very last full day of this trip we did the magic kingdom we rope dropped coffee <laughs> yeah we wrote drop Joffrey's in Tomorrowland. Yeah. Which, if you watched any of our videos from January... That was a hip happening spot. We couldn't go to Joffrey's. We waited, like, the longest line that one day. Um, and then that night, or another night when we was in the Magic Kingdom, the line was the same. Mm -hmm. And I wanted... It was cold. And I really wanted some hot coffee that night. But I couldn't because Joffrey's was, like, 45-minute wait. It was insane. But we had no wait. We were able to just walk up, get our coffee, and then we headed over to... Big Thunder. Basically, Rope Drop, Big Thunder, Pirates of the Caravan, and um, Haunted Mansion because those are great. And yeah. you can easily do them in the morning time if you were able to um, be there pretty early. So we were able to get coffee, drink our coffee by the time we got to Big Thunder. We waited... Just like 10, 10 minutes. 15 minutes. It was nothing. Yeah. Pirates was a walk on. Um, Haunted Mansion was a little bit longer. Maybe but, like 10 or 15, yeah. maybe 20 minutes, but it was nothing. Mm. Oh, we got it all done pretty quickly. And um, then we got breakfast. Yeah. At Friar Nook's. So, Friar's Nook. <laughs> Friar's Nook. So, Friar's Nook is um, just like a, it's not a sit down or anything. No, you it's just a walk up. Walk up. But. I like to check out the menus um, at different places, and I, because we were trying new things, um, there was some breakfast items that I thought looked pretty good, so I feel, felt like we needed to try something new for breakfast here in the Magic Kingdom, and we got the sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich on a pretzel bun, and then we ordered the, um, it came with, that was a meal, it came with um, tots. And then we got the donut holes, the cinnamon sugar donut holes. So we shared that. It was and all good. It was delicious. It was super cheap and it was really satisfying. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would get that again for sure. We, and then we got to sit. Like, we sat in this perfect little spot. It was really sunny and warm at this point of the day. Um, but we had a great little spot and we were able to people watch and just hang out. Yeah. And it was just really, it was a nice um, breakfast. Especially since it wasn't anything fancy. So after breakfast, we, um, because it was getting warm, we ended up just, the lines were getting pretty crowded and crazy. So um, the middle of the day in the Magic Kingdom is not really our cup of tea, especially if you don't have um, some kind of lightning lanes or anything scheduled. You're going to be waiting a long time. So we decided to do the Liberty Bell and the train and then head on out of the Magic Kingdom and hang out with our dog for a little while. After we spent some time with our dog and we came back to Magic Kingdom, we decided to do some things that we haven't done in a really long time, like Ariel, the little Ariel, the Little Mermaid Grotto ride thing, mm -hmm. Tomorrowland Speedway. We got some food that we have never eaten before from Sleepy Hollow. Oh yeah, we did go to Sleepy <laughs> Hollow and get some food that we'd never gotten before. Yeah, you got the corn dog, yeah. and I got the chicken waffle, which Pretty sure the chicken and waffle, at like a week or two after that, was gone. gone. So I'm super excited because I've never tried it before. I always got the fruit and Nutella waffle, which is not there either. So 
Um, that stinks. Yeah, but um, because those were really good options. Mm -hmm. The waffle was a little flimsier than I wanted it to be, but for the whole thing, because the chicken was so good, I felt like it was a really good, like sweet and savory yeah. kind of uh, food. So that was easy, quick, and um, yeah, we did aerial scrub. Aerial Scrog Grotto, and then we did, um, the sun was kind of going down, and we did Speedway. Um, I wanted to do the Speedway during the fireworks. Yeah, so we had a Tron boarding, virtual boarding group, and it was more towards later in the evening. Um, yeah. So we, we spent some time doing those things just to kind of fill in the time between, yeah. you know. Because we didn't know when called. we were going to get called. We just knew it would be soon. Um, yeah, we, we did get some snacks from, uh, was it Friars Nook also? The, lo oh, yeah, like the Lost got, Princess I, Cones? I forgot we got the Lost yes. Princess Cone. Um, so we got the lemon Dole yeah. Whip, basically, on a cone. It's not a Dole Whip, I know, but it's one of it's the Dole lemon. flavors. Yeah. But the coconut's probably my favorite, but the lemon comes in a close second. Out of all the flavors that we've ever tried. Lemon's and we've great. tried a lot. We've tried a lot of flavors. Yep. So, lemon, lemon Dole Whip. Um, and then we did Space Ranger Spin, um, which yeah. was basically a walk on, even though it said it was like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, we walked right on to that sucker. Oh, yeah. And we did... Um, Carousel Progress. We did Carousel Progress. And we also did the People Mover. I forgot about those. Yeah. And Winnie the Pooh. And Winnie the Pooh. So we did like so many things. We always do People Mover and Carousel of Progress. Uh -huh. But um, those other rides, yeah. Those are things that we don't often do. Speedway we haven't done since like Gals from a Little Oh man, kid. it's been a long time and for it's Speedway. Been, it's been so long that we forgot that there was like a little stadium that you can sit and like watch. Yeah. Don't even so know if I, I ever knew there was. So I don't know if that's like for your extra party that's waiting on the rest of everybody that just wants to sit yeah. there and watch um but i think it's pretty cool and the sun was basically going down at this point so that mm -hmm. was really nice and when we got off space ranger spin it was basically nine o'clock i think it was like nine and five it was and close towards the end of yeah, the night yeah because i was really wanting like a drink or a snack or something but because we were in tomorrowland and the park has had um I don't know. I guess at nine o'clock that those those restaurants start closing down. Not all yeah. restaurants, but mm -hmm. the restaurants over there in Tomorrowland they were just basically closed. They closed at nine, so I couldn't get a snack and I couldn't get a drink because our boarding group we knew was going to be called very soon. Halfway Reactor was about to be called, so I knew we couldn't go to where there was food and drinks available. Um, so we just basically made our way over to Tron, and by the time we got up to the top of the hill. Our morning group is called. Ours and everybody else's. Yeah. So, we were kind of disappointed with this experience because we haven't had the best of luck with... We always get a boarding group or... And yeah. We never get an <laughs> early boarding group. Ever. Yeah. I so think the earliest we've ever been called back for a group was like one-ish. In the morning, from the morning time, like yeah. 7 a.m. One, maybe groups. two o'clock. Um, this one by far the latest, um, yeah, which was, don't which, usually do it in the afternoon. yeah, which, which is okay. I mean, they, they can only do what they can do, but yes, it, it just took us forever so to stand in line. Basically we, when it called us, I had used the restroom at the very top in the Tron restrooms and, uh, we walked over there and before you can even scan in, we waited it was, it was really long. a long. good 30 something minutes because we were in that line waiting to scan our bands. It was a very long line and Happy Lever Actor had not started yet. And we listened, well actually not listened because we couldn't hear any of it. We could only hear the, like the Tron music and then we could see the fireworks from a distance. And that was quite I was quite sad because I knew this was our last night and this could be poor, poor planning on us, but we had waited all day for this Tron group to be called. And yes, we wanted to ride it at night, but I think it was just so disappointing because they called basic 
at nine o'clock, they're like, okay, everybody. let's just get everybody in. Whatever's left. Whoever come on. can ride it, we'll ride it. And um, it was redeeming though, because not just by luck, we we queued up and they gave us the front seat. You yeah. Know, so that was kind of so, cool. So, yeah, that, we got started at night and we were able to ride the front. But this ride is so short. And yeah. I like it a lot. I don't like it but at I'm, all. But Wade's, <laughs> Wade's done with this ride. Uh, we've ridden it twice. I think I was just so, I was so sad because I thought, I, I really thought because the first time we rode this that it was very quick once our boarding group was called. It was really quick. We were on and off, like in the line, on and off the ride. Mm -hmm before like a 30 minute period so we thought possibly we'd be able to even hear like a tiny sound of happy ever after i was dreaming or we could at least ride one more ride but we basically had to just get like skedaddle when we left because the whole park was closed and it was just it was sad to be our last night if it wasn't our last night then i probably wouldn't have been as sad. I would just like, okay, we'll just come back and do a little bit more of Magic Kingdom or something. But I don't know. I was just a little disappointed with this whole situation. So from now on, we know if we want to put ourselves in that situation, we just know what we're getting into. So, well, what it comes down to <laughs> is, is if we get a really late boarding group, we're just not going to ride it. Or we can just say, hey, we're not going to do it. Which, yeah. we've done Tron a good, like I've done it in the in the daytime. I've done it at night now. We've so ridden I, on the front. So we've, we've done everything we want to do. We've kind of done everything we want to do. So it's probably going to be a really long time before we try to ride Tron. Yes. So I think we're okay with that. It's just, even when we waited the other day on Guardians, we waited way longer than we really wanted to. We didn't yeah. plan to be in the park for seven hours that just day. Just let people stand in line. Yeah, I th that's that's our problem. But we're not we're not here to complain. We just it is frustrating, and I feel like people should hear those frustrations because I'm sure there's other people that feel those frustrations, and people should know. Um, just because you get a boarding group doesn't mean that it's gonna go smoothly. Any you faster would think than if that you just stood a boarding in line. group would be helpful, but it's not always, and. Sometimes I feel like we planned our whole night. We kept waiting on that one thing the whole night. And then we were just kind of let down. Because you kind of, we should have just not let it control our night. So, well, with that being unfortunately, said. Unfortunately, the virtual queues control yeah, a lot of what you lot. can do. And, it, well, for us, because we do go to the park, leave, and come back. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of controls some of the some of our decision making yeah, we so because we don't especially well at least at the end of the night we kind of know okay well, we can do whatever we want to during the daytime we just need to be there at night the boarding groups during the middle of the day you're kind of like well shoot I, I, if i leave am i going to be called because we have left before yeah. and got called and then had to rush right back but i understand the virtual <laughs> cues i get it i know why they do it that's cool just let them stand in line also, I wonder how people plan their, like, dining, because, like, what if we had, like, a reservation, or uh, things like that? I don't know, I just, I just, I'm not, I'm not happy with it, I don't love it, um, but we have a trip coming up very soon, and we'll probably do things a little bit differently on that trip, um, Probably won't do virtual, well, we will do Tiana's. I was gonna say, <laughs> it's not that we're not gonna do it, it's just gonna... I don't know how to say it. We're just going to plan a little differently. And if we do it, we do it. We don't, we don't. Um, yeah. But so, anyway. I mean, like. So, a, when we left that night, we was a little discouraged. We went back. We walked our dog. Because it was our last night on this trip. So, we walked our dog and enjoyed the last little bit of Port Orleans Riverside. Um, and then the next morning... We had kind of wanted to do Animal Kingdom this morning just for a couple of hours before I wanted to do Animal Kingdom for a couple of hours. Um, I did know that we had to have Remy out of the room by 11 o'clock because that's checkout. So I was hoping that we could just do a couple of hours because Animal Kingdom, you can be there like at six something in the morning and we could have left at 10 and that's like a whole bunch of time at Animal Kingdom that we could have enjoyed. Like mm -hmm. one ride and some breakfast we could have done.
but we were tired. We had a long, long drive ahead of us that day, so we slept in a little bit, and then we decided because we had not been able to get beignets on this trip, because beignets are at the French Quarter, and we are just walking distance, we decided we'd do that. So we walked over and got coffee and beignets and just sat outside and listened to the music. Yep. Yeah. And Wade bought me a hat from the gift shop at French Quarter because it was like a Port Orleans. It wasn't French Quarter or Riverside. It was just a Port Orleans hat. And it was so cute. Um, and at this point, I think we are obsessed with Port Orleans, Riverside. Oh, yeah. And French Quarter, but mostly Riverside. Mostly Riverside. Um this resort feels like I said it in the the videos when we were doing um, like when we got to the resort we were sharing uh, the room tour and everything but this resort feels like a deluxe resort for a moderate price. It does. It's, it's huge. So it's so huge and it's beautiful and the activities and amenities. Um, the boat. If it, the boat normally the boat's rope working and you can go to. Um, it remi- Disney Springs. I don't yeah. know. It's just so many options. It reminds me a lot of Fort Wilderness if Fort Wilderness was hotels, basically. Yeah. So we fell in love with Fort Wilderness, um, but we really fell in love with this resort on this day. And we were only here for four nights. We'll be um, back, though. Yeah. So we actually had a trip planned. <laughs> um, but a, very not this, un- a very unique trip. A very trip. unique trip. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Um, it's not our next day. Um, but our next day is in a couple of weeks, so we're really excited about that and cannot wait to share those videos with you. But, um, I think I have one more video left in this vlog series, and it's going to be about all of their, our expenses. So we haven't ever done an expense video okay. about our price breakdowns on what we spend on our trips, and I think I'm going to start doing that because I wanted to do it our last trip and I didn't. And I think it's just a really cool and helpful thing for people to plan. So, I'm going to share that in the next video. Disney World, it's amazing. And we had so much fun. And we cannot wait to share more videos of going to the resorts with our dog and all of the things. So. Yep, because our plan is to hit up every dog-friendly resort. We're two down. Yeah. And we've got, we have, <laughs> technically we've got, only got two, but we've got three. Yeah, which I explained in Yeah. So just go video. watch some of the older yeah. videos. Uh, so yeah, I explained that in our Bring Your Dog to Port Orleans Riverside, um, Disney World, and um, all of that information. But yeah, that's basically what we're doing. We're hitting up all of the dog-friendly resorts. It's going to be new resorts for us, new experiences for us, mm-hmm. but also really cool experiences with our dog. That's it. So, thank you guys for following along, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.